Yeah, so this is my signature model. This is uh, actually my third uh, iteration of this signature model with uh, ESP. So I started endorsing ESP in 2008. Wow. So yeah, I've been with them almost 15 years now, which Loyal is dude. crazy to say. Yeah. yeah, I just, I mean, I don't really honestly see any other, you know, I could definitely play any other brand and, you know, get the job done. But I just, these just have felt so comfortable with me for so long. I yeah. just, there's nothing else, that, you know, that I want to play. So, um, but this is the third version. My first version came out in 2012 and it was the blood burst. Yeah. It had, yeah, with like the um, black to blood red finish with the uh, flame maple top. And uh, that one was really popular. People really dug that one. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just, uh, I don't think people had really seen a seven string like that before, you know, in that classic strat shape, but yeah. like more of a metal version. And um, then I had another version come out in 2016 that uh, had like this uh, Paduke uh, brown stain on the top. It was really nice, like a nice wood grain stain with like yeah. a swamp ash body. And uh, both of those were neck through and so for this version, I decided I wanted to try, they were both neck through with a pit guard. So, um, you know, the neck was running through the middle of the wood, plus the pickups were attached to the pit guard. They weren't mounted into the body. Mm. So for this version, I wanted to make some changes to uh, hopefully improve like the tonal benefits yeah. of it. And so I ended up making it um, bolt on instead of neck through and also uh, direct mount pickups instead of a pit guard. So the pickups are sitting in the wood and it's one solid mass of wood versus, you know, having wings and then the pickups are sitting in the pit guard. So I definitely feel like it's helped with like the resonance and the tonality of their overall guitar because the pickups are actually mounted into the wood versus like suspended in a yeah. pit guard, you know? And, and these are DiMarzio, what? Uh... They're deactivators okay. still, yeah. And how was how, how would you felt or what was your experience playing the different neck joints is it something you actually notice or is it something you just kind of don't even think about or even realize it's different honestly i don't even really notice it that much on it i don't play a lot of lead either if i was up here more often maybe i would notice it a yeah. little more but i'm mostly based down here so um one thing that i thought esp did that was cool is that how they rounded this um neck joint right here yeah so that when your hand does slide up it just like perfectly fits right there in there so oh, i mean like it is shake. it is actually like capable of some serious lead action but you know sadly i don't give it to it yeah <laughs> and what about uh the evertune is this standard on your your signature or is this something you put on there for so the this tour? is not standard okay. i actually had this one sent to uh evertune to have it modified by them and um uh, because I started loving that one so much. Yeah. I was like, well, I can't have one guitar with an Evertune and another guitar without one live. Yeah. Least, you know, if I, I'm kind of one of those guys, it's like, I need to have like identical, consistency. yeah, consistency, identical setups and stuff. So um, I had that one put in here and this is my A guitar. So this one I'm in drop G and this one is drop A. All right. And um, yeah, I've been loving the Evertune on this one too. No tone knob, huh? No tone, just volume, straight Let's volume. Go. Yeah, I just, you know, no need for the tone. Honestly, I, um, you know, have been considering taking out the neck pickup too and just doing a bridge pickup because, I mean, honestly, the only reason I put the neck pickup in all of my signatures is for people that actually want to buy them. Yeah. Because, you know, I've, you know, a lot of people do play leads and they do want the neck pickup and they do use it a lot, yeah. but I don't personally. So I don't know, maybe on the next model, take that out you and, know and before so. we let you go and we'll talk to gabe real quick about his bass is, yeah. is uh whose idea was to do the, the finish the style of wood kind of like sandblasted skin cover in terms of like the wood was it you that approached esp or is esp like hey you want to do it this uh it was actually me um it started out it, this was uh modeled off of a custom shop that they did for me so I put in a custom shop order with Tony and, um, you know, all the specs were this, basically. I was like bolt on, swamp ash body. Um, I don't even know. I don't think I said, I just said like, uh, I said like a black stain, but I wanted the wood grain to show through. That's what was important is that I really like, um, you know, how you can see the grain of the wood of the swamp ash body. And... Um, it's striking even though it's like yeah. a matte black 
It's, it, the wood grain really does make it gives the it whole some thing character. Pop. Yeah, yeah. And, and what I like about it is that each guitar is different, you know, because each piece of wood is different. So it uh, makes gives each guitar a little bit of character. It's not like um, a factory, you know, just like solid red color or yeah. something like that.